What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel today. You're talking sports with MG Johnson. Today, we got the 2021 NFL Week 5 Power Rankings. So before we get into today's video, make sure you guys hit the like button. If you enjoyed today's video, if you're new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Man, we on the road to 1,000 subscribers. All support is appreciated. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on today's episode. Let me know if y'all agree. Let me know if y'all disagree or whatever. Um, But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this week's Power Rankings, man. Um, as y'all know, every single week we rank every NFL team from rank 32, which is the last place from week one, um, from the first ranked team, sorry. Um, but yeah, so y'all already know how this go. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the power rankings, but let's get it, man. At number 32, you got the Jacksonville Jaguars, man. Put it, uh, almost beat the Cincinnati Bengals, but couldn't get the job done. Urban Meyer got a lot of things going on with him. Everything is just going back for the Jaguars. They moved down one spot ranked number 31 last week so the jaguars they're they're just not looking good they're just they didn't i don't I, you could argue that they're worse this year than they were last year um and it's just, it's just not good and urban meyer is not looking good there so number 32 is the jaguars number 31 you got the detroit lions um the lions man the lions the lions the lions man um got embarrassed by the chicago bears um and it just wasn't good man I mean, Jared Goff having the fumble go off or interception go off his shoulder. Man, the Lions just suck. To be completely honest, like, the Lions just suck. And they look like they're not going anywhere this season with the mistakes that they make. At number 30, you got the Houston Texans. They dropped down two spots, move, ranked at number 28 last week. Um, the Houston Texans got completely embarrassed by the Buffalo Bills. I don't have to say much about this game. The game was 40-0. to zero. The Bills just destroyed them. At number 29, you got the New York Jets getting their first win of the season, ranked at number 32 last week, moving up three spots. The New York Jets, man, they finally got a win, but it was against an injured uh, Tennessee Titans team without their two best receivers. So, I mean, you expected the Jets to have a better chance at winning than they would if the Titans were healthy. But the Jets got the job done against an injured um, Tennessee Titans team. Um, and, yeah, that's what happened. At number 28. Eight, you have the New York Giants. Um, the Giants got their first win as well. Both New York teams um, got their first win uh, against the uh, Saints. Um, went into overtime and they got the job done. And Saquon, he got some receiving, a lot of a lot of touches in the receiving game. Um, still trying to find a rhythm in the running game, but not playing horrible. Um, definitely got better since week one, so that's good. Uh, that's good for Saquon and um. The team, they look good this week. They got the job done against the Saints team, who I thought the Saints were really going to um, have a good game against the Giants. But the Giants proved me wrong when they are ranked number 28. At number 27, you got the Atlanta Falcons dropping down two spots, ranked at number 25 last week. The Falcons losing to the Washington football team this week. Um, Cordell Patterson is the bright spot of Atlanta. Um, but, you know, they're still trying to get Kyle Pitts in rhythm, still trying to get him you know, acclimated into the NFL life, get him more and more targets and more and more touches as the weeks go by. Um, but the, this this Falcons team, man, it, it's not going to be a good year for them. And they just continue to go on a downward spiral ever since they got their first one. At number 26, you got the Miami Dolphins, ranked at number 24 last week, dropped two spots, losing to the Indianapolis Colts, and Tua still remains to be out, which means Jacoby Brissett got the start, and they did not beat the Indianapolis Colts. They didn't take care of the business that they should have, and that's what happens, man. That's what happens. You don't take care of business, and you drop two spots like Miami. At number 25, you got the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um... They dropped down four spots, ranked at number 21. And Big Ben uh, honestly looks like he's done. I mean, I watched this, a lot of this Packers game, and Big Ben just looks like he's done, man. He's a very old veteran quarterback. And look, man, if I'm Big Ben, this is it, man. This is it. He's a Hall of Famer. He's going to be in his jersey retired with the Steelers, all of the great things. But Big Ben is just not the guy anymore, and the Steelers are ranked at number 25. At number 24, you got my Philadelphia Eagles dropping down two spots from last week, ranked at 22. And uh, actually, fun fact, I was at this game. That's why I didn't live stream this game because um, y'all know I live stream every Eagles game except for this one um, against the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Eagles offense actually put up a fight, but the defense could not hold Tyree Kill. And we still have yet to properly run the ball um, with our running backs. And that's going to be an issue for us if we can't get that straightened out down the line. 
At number 23, you got the Indianapolis Colts moving up four spots. Got their first win of the season and their first win in the Carson Wentz era, man. Um, did Indianapolis Colts took care of business? It was against an injured Miami Dolphins team without their starting quarterback. So, I mean, you expected the Colts to win this one, but we give them credit nonetheless. And they move up four spots this week. At number 22, at the New England Patriots drop it down two spots, ranked at number 20 last week. Had a very, very emotional game. Tom Brady returning to New England. Um, you know, all the Bill Belichick versus Brady things got put the rest. Um, lost by a game winning field goal, lost by a field goal, but at the end of the day, the Patriots um still fought. Mac Jones looked decent, though. He looks like he's gonna be a good quarterback, so that's good for them. At number 21, you have the Washington football team. Um, they uh move up two spots, ranked at number twenty three last week. They beat the Atlanta Falcons and uh, um and the good performance by Washington, man. Great, great performance there. They got the job done. Even Cordell Patterson's playing very, very well for the Falcons right now. They managed to still get the job done. Um, and that's great for the Falcons, man. I'm I'm sorry, not for the Falcons, for the football team who beat the Falcons. Um, but you know, Washington football team got second place in the division, so. They sitting pretty right now in the NFC East. At number 20, you got the Minnesota Vikings. They dropped down one spot, lost 14 to 7 to the Cleveland Browns. Defense played pretty good, man. Held the Browns to under 20 points. Not not bad, but man, the Browns defense also had a good job against them. It slowed down their offense. Um Dalvin Cook and all those guys over there with Kirk Cousins, Adam Thielen, and Justin Jefferson, all those guys there. Um just couldn't get couldn't didn't have a successful day. This past week against the Cleveland Browns, and they are going to drop down one spot, ranked at 19 last week. At number 19, you got the Chicago Bears moving up seven spots. They were ranked at 26 last week. They get the job done. Justin Fields looked amazing. Now it was against the Detroit Lions, who are, um, I believe, winless on the season. So, you know, that's not something to brag about, but they did look good against a divisional rival team. Justin Fields finally got a proper game plan, and he looked well. Um, Darnell Mooney, breakout Broke out for the Bears this week. David Montgomery had a good game. He did get injured, which sucks for the Chicago Bears. But other than that, man, the Bears look good, man. The defense, the offense, everything looked good for the Chicago Bears. And if you're a Bears fan, you are very happy with the performance y'all put up. At number 18, you got the New Orleans Saints dropping down two spots. Honestly, a very big disappointment losing to the New York Giants. Um, It, it sucks, man. Um, But, yeah, the Saints lost to the Giants in overtime. Um, let the Giants come into the Superdome and get the job done. And it sucked for the Saints. They shouldn't have taken a loss like that. But that's what happens, man. These upset losses happen. So I'm pretty sure the Saints are going to be a decent team down the road. And this is not the end of the world for them. At number 17, you got the Tennessee Titans. And they obviously, they could have really dropped more. But, you know, they lost to the New York Jets. And um, they, that's their second loss of the season now. The Tennessee Titans. Um, I just can't believe it, man. Can't believe the Titans took a loss like this. And to be honest, man, they were injured. The re that's the reason why they didn't drop down uh, as much as they did, because they were injured. But at the end of the day, I got to give the credit where the credit is due to the Jets for getting the job done. But, you know, the Titans, when healthy, are still going to be a good team competing for the top place in that division. Probably going to be the winner of that division the way that it's looking right now. So, Tennessee Titans fans, you lost to the Jets, I know. But it's not the end of the world, man. So, you know, y'all get y'all guys back healthy and you see what you can do then. At number 16, you got the Cincinnati Bengals, man. The Bengals uh, moving up two spots. Um, ranked at number 18 last week. And the Bengals continue to cruise. They are a 3-1 team. And you can honestly argue that I can move them up higher. They only have one loss uh, at the season. And the Bengals are looking good. Joe Burrow's looking good. But they do have a big test against the Packers this week. So, you know, you can't play the Jaguars every week. You, you can't play washed up Big Ben every week. So let's see how they do against an actual good playoff team against the Packers this upcoming week. At number 15, you got the Denver Broncos taking their first loss of the season to the Baltimore Ravens. They dropped down three spots, ranked at number 12 last week. And the Denver Broncos, man, um, I kind of had a feeling that they would lose once they faced their first playoff team. Because to be honest, their first three weeks, they didn't play any really great competition. So I had a feeling that they were going to lose. They did. Obviously, they had uh, <laughs> got disrespected. Um, the Ravens had to break a record on them with three seconds left. So Harbaugh said, hold on, call timeout. We got to run the ball. Um, you heard them complain about that. But the Broncos, man, they 
their first loss of the season. Let's see how they respond. I'm not really worried about the loss. I want to see how they respond, and we're going to see this upcoming week. At number 14, you got the San Francisco 49ers dropping down four spots, losing to the Seattle Seahawks, ranked at number 10 last week. Um, the Seattle Seahawks took care of business. You've seen Jimmy Garoppolo get hurt, and you see Trey Lance come in, man. And Jimmy Garoppolo, I believe, is questionable for the next game. So if we can see a lot of promise from Trey Lance, maybe we are start are about to see um, a quarterback change in San Francisco. So honestly, that's the biggest thing I take away from their last game. Like I said, obviously, Jimmy G getting hurt and them losing to the Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. But, you know, the Niners, they got a lot of things to worry about as far as the quarterback position, but they are ranked number 14. At 13, you got a team that beat them, the Seattle Seahawks, who moved up four spots. Russell Wilson and the guys got the job done versus the Niners. Um, had to go through a quarterback change. Um, and honestly, people are not talking about it, but I was looking at the stats. Bobby Wagner's having a really good year, man. People were saying he was dropping off, he was washed up, he was this, he was that. But when I look at his stats and I go back, I'm like, ooh, I like what I'm seeing from Bobby Wagner. And I have had to go back. You know, you got to go back and watch the games, too. And I didn't know Bobby Wagner's having a good year. So the Seahawks, they get the job done versus the Niners, though. And i like to see more um, of what I'm seeing from Bobby Wagner because he is going to be the reason that defense has any success this year. At number 12, you got the Carolina Panthers dropping down three spots, taking their first loss of the season, I believe, to the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and it was an interception show for them. Uh, Tr uh, Trayvon Diggs did his thing against them. Um, and the Panthers' defense got a big test, and they gave up some points, man. But without, without McCaffrey, they're a decent team, man. They're still a decent team who can compete. But with McCaffrey, that just elevates them. And you've seen it this game. Um, McCaffrey is a big piece of the offense. And if McCaffrey cannot uh, play and McCaffrey can't be healthy, then you're going to see a lot of games like this where they didn't play all out horrible offensively, even though they had turnovers. But, you know, Christian McCaffrey puts you over the, you know, over the hump with his talent. So that's what I have to say about the Panthers ranked that number 12. At number 11, you got the Kansas City Chiefs um, who – improved three spots ranked at number 14 last week um and they moved to two and two <laughs> they have the same record as the chicago bears right now and the washington football team it's funny but um they got the job done versus my eagles like i said i was at this game tyree kill doing absolutely great against the eagles defense travis kelsey didn't do much but clyde edwards alaire had a really really good game i like what i've seen from him and tyree kill and travis kelsey's gonna be fine it was just you know one game he didn't get as much targets as he usually does so you know, it's going to be fine. But, hey, man, Clyde Edwards alert, Tyreek Hill looking good, and that's going to help the Chiefs offense to win a lot of games this year. Now let's get into the top 10. And at number 10, you got the um, Las Vegas Raiders almost at Oakland there for a second. You got the Las Vegas Raiders, man. At number 10, dropped down six spots, lost to the Los Angeles Chargers, had their first loss of the season as well. Um, that's interesting. Um, Derek Carr, man, they tried to put up a fight, but the Chargers was just too much for him, man. The Chargers was just way too much for them. Went in the SoFi Stadium with a whole weather rain delay, and they couldn't get the job done, man. Um, this was a big, big divisional game. This moved a lot of pieces in that AFC West division. Um, but the Raiders are still a solid team. They're gonna, they can easily bounce back. Um, let's see what happens. Um, I believe they play Chicago Bears this week. So let's see how they bounce back, man. At number nine, you got the team that beat them, the Los Angeles Chargers. Ranked at number nine, moving up two spots. Ranked at number 11 last week. The Los Angeles Chargers, man, Herbert and the crew got the job done, man. And you've seen uh, good plays from Austin Eckler. And Justin Herbert continues to just be a good, good young quarterback. And he's going to be a great quarterback for years to come, man. This dude has still... He still has things he can improve on. He still has a lot of more things he has to experience, and he's already lighting up um, some good teams. He beat, he gave the Raiders their first loss of the year after winning three straight, and it's just impressive what you've seen out of Herbert right now. I'm very, very proud of what he's doing. So if he keeps it up, along with Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Austin Eckler, and all the great weapons there, then the Chargers are going to be a playoff team this year, man. So I'm excited to see that. At number eight, you have my division rival, the Dallas Cowboys, moving up five spots, giving the Carolina Panthers their first loss. The Cowboys, they were ranked at 13 last week, move up to number eight, right into the top 10. And, you know, I can't lie that Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott, 
they're playing great, man. They're playing great, man. Ezekiel Elliott, especially the last couple of weeks, he has came alive. He has showed people that he is still that guy. He is still a great running back, and he still can give the Cowboys top five running back production. He's top five in rushing yards to start off the season. So good job by Ezekiel Elliott for doing what he does. Dak Prescott, comeback player of the year. I got, I'm, You might as well just give it to him by now. Um, but we're going to see what happens throughout the rest of the season. But the Cowboys are looking really good right now. At number seven, you got the Baltimore Ravens moving up to one spot, ranked at number eight last week. And they got the job done versus the Denver Broncos, giving them their first loss. Lamar Jackson doing it in a passing game this time. He got 300 passing yards, proving the haters wrong, showing them that he can pass the ball. Had a nice play down the field to Hollywood Brown. Just good, good passing by Lamar, making passes that we never thought he can make and making the improvements, man. So Lamar Jackson right now is actually being a great quarterback like a lot of people and a lot of y'all who watch these videos say he can't be a good quarterback. Well, he is proving you wrong. So good job by Lamar Jackson. Good job by the Ravens offense keep and defense get the job done against the Broncos. At number six, you got the Cleveland Browns who went up one spot. Another good week from the defense. They only gave up seven points. And I don't care how you give up those seven points. The fact that you gave up seven points is just insane. Um, and it just continues to have a good defense. The offense didn't look the best. They obviously weren't at that top form. Um, only scoring 14 points, but it's all good because the defense once again um showed up. And Miles Garrett, I believe, um got drug tested because he didn't wear his sleeves this game. He just went, you know, full arm out. Um, and they drug tested him, so that's funny. So I mean, when you're a great player like that, they just drug test you. But no, nah, that's funny. That's you know some other topic for another day. But yeah, the Cleveland Browns got the job done. Miles Garrett, like I said, got drug tested, you know. And the defense of the Browns, man, is looking legit, looking legit, man. So if they continue to do this, they're definitely going to be a top five defense. And their offense is going to play better than what they showed last week. So good job by the Browns. At number five, you got the Green Bay Packers. Um, ranked at number five last week, did not move a spot at all. Um, this, they just got the job done versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Aaron Rodgers with his 420th touchdown on the season. I'm sorry, in his career. Let me excuse myself right there. Um, And like I said, with the defense, they made Big Ben just look like he was done, man. They they did what they did. Now, it says to the Packers, because their top corner, Jair Alexander, did get hurt in this game, and he will be out for a few weeks. So that does suck. But the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, Randall Cobb had a solid game this game. Man, you just, the Packers in cruise control right now. After week one, they just been controlling everything, man. And Aaron Rodgers is in his bag right now. He is trying to send a message to the whole NFL. So good job by the Packers and Aaron Rodgers for getting the job done. At number four, you got the Los Angeles Rams who came, who was ranked number one last week after beating the former number one team. Um, the, the Rams, they lost. They finally lost. They lost to the Arizona Cardinals. Um, and it was honestly uh, not a great performance by the Rams. They got their first taste of defeat to a division rival. You can't be, you really can't be surprised there because, like I said, man, the Cardinals they got the job done versus the Rams. Um, and the Rams, you know, they're gonna be fine. Matthew Stafford still one of the best quarterbacks performances this season. I just, I'm excited to see what this Rams seed does in the future. They didn't have a good game last week, but they're definitely gonna keep it up. At number three, let's get into this top three. We got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beating the New England Patriots. Tom Brady, uh, like I said, emotional game, returning to New England. And they won, man. They got the job done. They did lose, but, or sorry, they did win because of a field goal. Um, But it's all good. They still got the job done, but they didn't move up or move down because these top two teams right here, they had a great performance. So let's get into that. At number two, you got the Buffalo Bills putting a 40 bomb on the Houston Texans, man. The Buffalo Bills, ever since we've won, their offense just just been lighting it up, no matter who you are. And they got a great matchup this upcoming week versus the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday Night Football. Um, It's going to be great, man. The Buffalo Bills moved up four spots, ranked at number six last week. So good job by the Bills. 40 points is just insane. Good job by Josh Allen. Putting himself, trying to put himself in the MVP conversation, but it's all good. But the reason why the Bills is number two is because this number one team has just been outstanding this year, and that is the number one team, the Arizona Cardinals. 
what a great performance by Kyler Murray um, and the, leading this team to victory against the Rams. I just couldn't believe it, man. I just couldn't believe it. And DeAndre Hopkins isn't playing his best football, but it doesn't matter. The Arizona Cardinals all season have been great, and they are the last undefeated team on this power rankings in the NFL. They're the last undefeated team in the NFL. So just a great, great year from the Arizona Cardinals. I'm excited to see what they do in the future. Great job by the Cardinals. I'm super excited for this team. Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, Christian Kirk, all the guys on the weapons there throughout the season. Kyler Murray trying to make himself the front runner for MVP. It's just amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, that was your power rankings. Ranked every single team from 32 to number one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more content, hit the like button. Comment down below what content you want. Comment down below anything. I read almost every comment. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, you've been talking sports with MG Nas, and I'm out. Peace.